Is book review the same as book report? How to write a book review? Let's answer all these questions right after this. Hi dear learners, this is Renette and welcome back to our class. Our topic for today is somewhat challenging because you will not only read, analyze, evaluate a statement or a paragraph, but a whole book. Did you hear it right? Yes, students, one book. So for bookworms, chillax. For students who don't like to read a whole book, then accept this as a challenge. Challenge accepted? I hope so. Our lesson objectives are the following. You're going to find out the difference between book review and book report and apply the steps and guide questions for writing a book review. How many times have you tried to write a book review? Is it the same as writing a book report? In elementary or junior high, perhaps your teachers asked you to do it. But what is a book review? An academic book review is a formal paper that works to describe, analyze, and evaluate a particular source as well as to provide detailed evidence to support this analysis and evaluation. Take note of the words, analyze and evaluate. It often explains how the book compares to other works on similar topics or illuminates the contribution the book makes to our understanding of a historical topic. So. What is the difference between a book review and a book report? Any guess? It is essential to distinguish between a senior high school or college level book review assignment and a book report assignment that you may have completed in your junior high school. Book reports tend to focus on just summarizing the work that you read. Your goal is to explain what it says and show that you read the book with care. In contrast, a book review asks you to analyze a book. Your goal is to identify the key arguments of the book and how the author supports these arguments as well as to evaluate the book's strengths and weaknesses. This evaluation of strengths and weaknesses is central to another key difference between book reviews and book reports. Book reports often ask you to provide personal opinion as to whether or not you like the book. A book review asks you to move beyond your personal likes or dislikes and provide a reasoned argument as to the merits or problems contained in the book. In a book review, it is not enough to say that a particular book was bad or excellent. You need to provide detailed analysis as to what factors such as scope, theoretical perspective, or use of evidence made it so. That is why your previous lessons are helpful as you write your book review. So, how to write a book review? Honestly, there is no such thing as a standard template. Every teacher may create his or her own template or guide questions or steps on how to write it. But of course, in writing, there is always the introduction where you have to put two elements. They are the background and your thesis. Your thesis statement, yes. And you have also to include the summary of key arguments where you write the brief summary or overview of the book. Your evaluation or analysis. In your evaluation or analysis, you have to use examples or quotations or if your teacher allows them and prove assessment of the work. And your conclusion, which provides a summation of your review. That includes the overall contribution to its field or whether it suggests interesting avenues for future research and more. But there are common problems in book reviews. The first one is summarizing rather than analyzing a work. Some students are so concerned about summarizing everything that the book says that they fail to provide analysis and evaluation. Try to step back and see the big picture of the work only discuss its main arguments and supporting evidence. Second is writing a research paper rather than a book review. Some students forget that their goal is just to review how the author of a particular book has interpreted an event and instead begin to write a research report on the event itself. Stay focused on the book. And another one is writing a paper does not reflect a thorough reading of the book. Some students begin to write before they have spent time reading and evaluating a book with care. The result is often 
a paper that lacks detailed examples or only provides examples and ideas from one section of the book. Put time and thought into reading and reflecting on your book. It really is key to writing a successful review. And another one is not having a clear method of organization. Like any paper, a book review needs a clear, logical structure that the reader can follow. Your reader should be able to predict what topic you will discuss next from your thesis and your topic sentences. And relying on personal opinions rather than reasoned judgments. Some students write re reviews based on their personal feelings toward a book. Deeming it boring or exciting or bad or good, these feelings may be the first step toward a good evaluation of the book. But you need to dig deeper. What is it that makes the book bad or good? What specific evidence can you provide to illustrate the book's strengths and weaknesses? It is important to have opinions about the book, but it is also essential to base your opinions on a reasoned and careful assessment of the work. As I have mentioned earlier, there is no such thing as uniform template or guide questions. But to give you an idea as to the structure of a book review, your introduction should comprise only 5%. The summary should be 10%. The review or the critiquing or critique should be 75%. And the conclusion is, 10% that and that's a total of 100% well there are many guide questions that you can find but here are a few but highly analytical questions that need to be answered so what is the book's main argument who seems to be the intended audience for the book how is the book structured does the structure of the book its various parts for example and chapters reinforce its larger argument how? So what kinds of sources or examples does the book offer in support of its argument and which are most or least effective? Why? Does the book engage other writers' works on the same subject? And even if not, how would you position the book in relation to other texts you are aware of on the same subject? So, does the author seem biased or prejudiced in any way? And if so, is that prejudice or bias the product of the author's own background, as far as you can tell? How persuasive is the book? If certain aspects are more persuasive than others, explain why. If you want to know the sample answers to these questions, please click the Google Drive link below. I know samples are very important. You can also find other samples for your review. You will never appreciate book review if you can't see some samples. Well, if you have some questions and clarifications, please feel free to comment. Happy learning, everyone. See you.